Sup, sup, flappers. Welcome back to another video. We have to talk about Yelen, right? I mean, it's not too common that we see a character that is released after another character which shares the same element. Two Hydro 5 stars released back to back with each other. That is something that is unseen, unheard of. And to be frank, I'm going to break apart reasons why I think that this may be a mistake for Hoyovers. Now, you guys might be wondering why that is. And also question that, isn't this the right move because Hydro is severely lacking in units? But I am somebody who would argue quality over quantity. Even though Hydro does lack a lot of units in comparison to some other elements, I would say that Hydro is currently a well-balanced element with different rosters of characters that fulfills very different niches within the game game and with the amount of niches that is being fulfilled it's going to be more difficult for yellen to cut through and be someone of value right i made video talking about how it's almost impossible to mess up ayato and while i wouldn't say ayato is game changing he's definitely a balanced character whereas yellen will definitely struggle a little more in comparison to ayato and this goes the same for all future five star hydro characters but we'll also talk about how hoyovers can solve this problem but at the same time why i don't think hoyovers will do it anytime soon so with yelen she has a couple options she could be a buffer she could be a dps whether it's a main or support dps she could be a healer or she could be something that is currently non-existent in the game right it doesn't matter what she is though because the demand will be questionable right hydro right now is an element that while having little units has great coverage tartaglia is the best dps option for hydro with ayato following behind alongside ching chu kokomi is an amazing healer with barbara as the free-to-play option while mona is an insane buffer which is unique to only mona essentially what i'm saying essentially is that hydro is so precise in what each unit does that at this point with how hoyoverse is releasing units yellen isn't going to be anything amazing they just can't make her be that way hoyoverse has their own philosophies of how they want to release five stars my best guess is that yellen will probably barely vape while freeze is already dominated by every other hydro unit and electro charge is still as copium as can be so the question here really is why should you consider yellen now the answer this this question is not a simple one like i said we don't need to know what she does to start having concerns this unit will have some problems setting themselves apart from the rest of our hydro options furthermore kazuha is bound to be close if not next patch then for sure the one after which makes any unit released in proximity shiver in fear of low sales if yellen is dps oriented most meta driven players will be hard skipping due to tartaglia ayato shingchu right if yellen is a support oriented unit most people will likely be skipping as well if yellen is somehow a healer that's going to be the hardest skip of ever and you guys might think i'm joking here but if yelen somehow is healing oriented she might be the worst banner so i'm talking worse than kokomi here all right but that is precisely why i think she won't be healing oriented here is where we can kind of predict what's going to happen by just understanding hoyoverse's philosophy a little more and understanding what kind of company hoyoverse is right and i'm telling you holyo versus philosophy will come to bite them in the ass chase there is a finite amount of ways to make units where they can each be unique while making them engaging balancing and fun to play but not over tuned just think of how restricting those criterias are and that's like the bare minimum of what Hoyoverse keeps trying to do right how Hoyoverse is currently handling this is to make each five star mid at c0 but have constellations to solve a good chunk of the problems, hence increasing the ceiling of the five stars through essentially a paywall. While this is nothing new to gacha games, this is a very band-aid solution that actually Hoyoverse will have to face the decision to repeat an already existing design while power creeping or just stall units releases in a particular category, right? That, that's literally the only two options they have. I'll repeat them, right? You either have to just deal with it and start power creeping older units because they ran out of 
creative and engaging designs to make characters while having it not feel like complete BS. Or they're just going to have to stop releasing certain characters within certain categories because those categories are maxed out and any more than that is just going to start repeating itself anyways, but they don't want to power creep, right? So then just they can't release any more characters. That's the route that Hoyoverse is going down. You guys might like, well, but creativity is endless. Yeah, in a way it is, but remember all the criterias we have to set for them because Hoyoverse set these criterias up for themselves. It's not like the players are enforcing it. And this is something that is already being seen in the game. You guys might be like, a walrus bullshit, right? Bullshit. But it's happening. We are very dissatisfied with how Hoyoverse is currently running the game because they've set the bar so high for us back in patch 1.0, right? And if this were any other game releasing content like this of this quality at this consistency, most players wouldn't really have many gripes with them. But because Hoyoverse has set the standard so high, players are not happy. We always want more. People are greedy, right? We just want more, 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 faster, 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 until literally the company burns the fuck out. That's what we're looking at right now. So back to the point with Yellen. Does it matter if Yellen is a better version of a four star? That's the next step we have to take. I mean, Kokomi is a far superior version of Barbara, which leaves the other four star Hydro Xingqiu being the other option to beat here. Right? If Xingqiu is the standard to beat, then let me ask you a serious question. For a company who is too scared to even power creep Guoba's pyro application, do you think they will be giving us someone that makes Xingqiu irrelevant? You have three seconds to answer. 210. All right. Now, a follow up question. If Xingqiu is not our crap, because I'm assuming most of you guys are saying, oh, no, no, they're not going to power creep Xingqiu. So, okay. If Xingqiu is not power crept, is there any reason to replace him? The correct answer to this is I'm pulling for my second team. Because let's be, <laughs> if you are pulling for Yellen and she is somehow supposed to be a better version of Xingqiu or just something similar to what Xingqiu does, the only correct answer here is that I am pulling for my second team, which means this particular option will be the best course of action Hoyoverse can take. All the other existing roles are currently filled by certain five-star hydro characters or other four-star counterparts. Another main DPS type of character is just too much conflict. Healer is completely out of the question. Buffers is another option where currently Mona exists in a very awkward spot. Most people can agree that she is an amazing character, but at the same time, most people don't know what the hell she even does. So if they make another main DPS, it better be better than Tertaglia, right? Or more focused than Ayato. If they make a new support, they have to find a better niche than Mona or create an entirely new meta structure. Something like Hydro Summons that helps you deal damage or something wacky like that, right? Something new we haven't seen yet. Now, knowing Hoyoverse and how they like to take shortcuts, it's likely they will just take the easy way out and find something that is already popular and just copy it or replicate its success while not overdoing it so they can continue milking the player base, right? I mean, it's my logic flawed in assuming this of Hoyoverse, right? I don't think I'm making a stretch in assumption any way right now, but tell me in the comments below if you think i'm making a stretch let me know right because currently how i see it it's the old rule that c6 four star equals c0 five star and this is likely going to be the formula we end up with again people right this is what's going to be happening if Hoyoverse decides to make Yellen somehow a better version of Xingqiu. Now, of course, if that does come to fruition, it's up to you to decide whether, you know, a character that's going to be worth something north of $100 in Primo Gems is a better pickup than someone like Xingqiu, which you could get Xingqiu to C2, and he essentially is doing everything you could ask him to do for you. Furthermore, characters such as Kazuha is right around the corner, new Dendro element is right around the the corner and this is where i want to finally touch upon the last possibility which could be the giga brain five head multi-universe 10d chess move that hoyoverse could be playing which is designing characters
characters such as Ayato, Yellen, and all future five stars to be synergistic and preferential to dendro based reactions. Now, <laughs> hold up a second. That is some crazy copium, hopium uh, stuff, and we're throwing Hoyoverse a lot of praise for somebody who gave us like the equivalent of 10 fouls for the first year anniversary. Are they gonna make a giga brain move? Well, maybe, because look at characters like Kokomi. She is somebody who aged like fine wine. The more you played, the more you saw newer characters, the more you started realizing that she essentially was designed for the future. Now, that is completely different for an elemental reaction that isn't even in the game yet. But we can never count out this option, so it's gonna be here in the video, taking up a very small portion of the video, which an even smaller portion of you will even reach this point. But I've set my points and it's up to you guys now to really weigh the pros and cons of yellen do you guys think she is going to be someone revolutionary or just more of the same more mid c0 characters that uh, especially being hydro hoyovers doesn't want to overdo it is going to be teetering on the line of mediocrity with that said thank you guys for watching like subscribe tune into my live streams right here on youtube wednesday saturdays where we talk everything genshin until next time urge you all to stay safe and peace peace